Hi, my name is JD and today I'm going to be checking out the EVH 5150 3 LBX model. So this is the little lunchbox head. I uh, borrowed it off my mate Mark, uh, he's had it for a while now and it sounds really really good. Uh, it's got EL84 power tubes I think it's got 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, preamp valves. Uh, 12 ax 7s I think they are, yeah. So basically it's got a clean channel and a gain channel. It's got gain, low, mid, high, volume, presence and there is a resonance knob on the back. Probably couldn't fit it on the front. All the switches are on the back. Uh, it's got a half power mode and a full power mode. I'm running it in full power at the moment. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little one minute track using the LTD MH1000 ET Deluxe Bill Stay Signature Pickups. It's going in the KHDK Ghoul Screamer. I will use some, some effects on the clean setting, uh, probably Boss Dimension C, uh, the Fender Reflecting Pool, that's basically a delay and reverb pedal, and there is another reverb, the Boss RV5. That's going into the amp, into the Freight Power Station, and I'll be using the small 1x12 with the green back on it, and that's got the VR1 ribbon microphone and the SM57. So yeah, that's what this sounds like. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through some of the sounds that you can get from this. Uh, it is a really, really good amp uh, for the price of it. I, the only other amp that I thought was really, really good for this this kind of style was the PRS MT15. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put it on the clean. There's no pedals on at the moment, and we're just going to see if we can get a really good clean sound. <laughs> So we've got the gain on about 11 o'clock, I'm just going to put the mids down and put the presents and highs up. Mids down even more. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the gain up to about 2 o'clock. I'm just going to turn the volume down on the power station. I mean, that's just instant crunch.
full. Turn the mids up. We're going to put everything at about 1 o'clock. Uh, mid high presence. We'll put the lows at 1. I mean that's a really really good sound. I think when we put the overdrive in, uh, the KHTK Girl Screamer, just your typical two screamer settings. <laughs> But I mean, we're still on the clean channel. I'm gonna put the uh, mids at about 11 o'clock, and I'm gonna put the drive on the tube screamer to about the same, about 11 o'clock. <laughs> basic crunch overdriving tones it sounds really really good <laughs> probably not enough for the game uh, so what I'm going to do now we'll go over to the gain setting and we'll try some of them settings so now we're on the gain setting uh, I've took, took the two screamer turn that off uh, all the same settings, and this is what it sounds like. I have adjusted the volume because obviously, once you go to the gain, it just drops the volume. So I've just brought that back on the power station. I'm going to put the gain to about one o'clock. It's got a lot of saturation, this amp. The old drive's not on at the moment. Um, and like I said, it's... It sounds really, really good.
just going to scoop them into a bit. I'm going to put them on about 9 o'clock. <laughs> Sounds really, really good. Uh, I'm going to put the mids back at about 12. I'm going to put the game back at about 10 o'clock. And I'm going to put the tube screamer in now. Or the case, DK Girl Screamer. Uh, and now we're going to see what kind of sounds we can really get out of this thing. 